morning, city kids. Today's story is about Samson and Delilah. Samson fell in love with a woman called Delilah. The Philistine lords went to Delilah and told her she must uncover the secret of Samson's great strength. Find out how we may take him prisoner, and each one of us will give you 1,100 pieces of silver. When Delilah was alone with Samson, she questioned him. Tell me, what is the secret of your strength? And how could you be made captive? If I were bound with seven new bowstrings, then I should be as helpless as a child, Samson replied. As if in play, Delilah then tied him fast with seven bowstrings given to her by the Philistines, who were lying in wait in the next room. The Philistines are upon us, she cried, but Samson snapped those strings as easily as if they had been frail threads. Why did you not tell me the truth? Delilah asked crossly. The truth, said Samson. The truth is that I can be held only by ropes that have never been used. As before, Delilah bound him fast. And as before, the Philistines burst in upon them, only to see Samson break the ropes as easily as if they had been spun of spider webs. The third time Delilah put her question, Samson told her that if she wove his long hair into the fabric on her loom, then he would be weak. But again, when the Philistines tried to lay hands on him, he broke away effortlessly. How can you love me, sobbed Delilah, when you tell me nothing but lies? And she needled and nagged him until at last, Samson, told her his secret. If my hair is cut, then my strength is gone. He fell asleep exhausted, and while he slept, Delilah signaled to one of the Philistines who crept in and cut off the strong man's hair. Samson, the Philistines are upon us, she cried, and Samson, not knowing that his strength had left him, jumped to his feet, but at once was overpowered. His captors took him to Gaza where he was thrown into prison and there were a brass shackle locked upon his ankles and he was put to work grinding wheat. But slowly his hair began to grow. Now the Philistines were in the temple celebrating because their greatest enemy was weak. But his hair grew and grew and grew until finally one day he prayed to the Lord, O oh Lord, give me my strength once more. And bracing his hands against the pillar on either side of him, Samson pushed with all of his might and there was a noise as though the earth were cracking open, and suddenly the temple roof and walls crashed to the ground. So Samson finally won victory over the Philistines. Our memory verse today is from Judges 16, 28. Oh Lord, please remember me and strengthen me. Student King, can we get mine? Student Mama. And Smart King. Yes. And Good Person. Happy Sabbath. Samson Craft with Teacher Gilly and Student King at Glendale City Church. For our craft today, we're going to work on a wanted poster for the Samson and Delilah story in the Bible. The first thing you're going to need is paper and crayons. I put a picture of a wanted poster on the top of the desk so that we could see it while we're coloring. The first thing I'm going to do is write the word wanted on the top of the paper. W-A-N-T-E-D. Wanted. 
Now I'm gonna start drawing his body. I've got his muscular arms, his legs, and his head. Now I've put some clothes on him. Let's add his long hair and beard. Now color him in and add all your details. The last thing you can do is write his name at the bottom because it's a wanted poster. So Samson is wanted. And now here's Kings. He drew some different colors and he wanted to make sure he had abs because he said he was muscular. Thank, Thank you guys. guys. See you next, next week. week. Hey City Kids, it's time to play True or False with Teacher Allison. When Delilah asked Samson what his weakness was, he lied three times before telling the truth. So today, I will be asking you fun animal questions and you will have to figure out the truth. All right, this first question's kind of a silly one. How many noses do slugs have? Is it two? Three or four? The answer is four. You see those tentacle things on its face? Each of those can both see and smell. Time for our next question. Sloths are known to be especially slow. One thing that's super slow is their digestion. So how long does it take for a sloth to digest its food? Does it take two whole days? Does it take two whole weeks? Or does it take two whole months? The answer is two weeks. This is the slowest digestion time of any mammal. Time for our next animal question. An octopus has so much love to give. Not only can it hug you with its eight arms, but it can also love you with more than one heart. So how many hearts does an octopus have? Does it have two hearts? Does it have three hearts? Or does it have eight hearts? The answer is three hearts. Not only does the octopus have three hearts, but it also has nine brains and blue blood. What happened? I think when God was creating the animals, he must have dropped a bunch of organs on the floor of heaven and then just mopped them up into an octopus. Our final question. So butterflies have a funny way of tasting. Do they taste with their feet, with their antennas, or with their wings? The answer is they taste with their feet. Most adult butterflies can't bite or chew. They eat mainly liquids like nectar, sap, and juices from fruits. So they have taste sensors on their feet, and by standing on a leaf, they can taste to see if their little baby caterpillars can eat it. Thanks for playing with me. I hope you enjoyed these fun facts. Happy Sabbath! Hi, city kids, how are you? I am talking to you from the state of Georgia. 2200 miles away. I'm visiting my folks here, my parents and my sister's family for a few days, but I still want to sing with you. As you know, we're talking about Samson this week, and Samson was the strongest man that ever lived, but he lost all of his strength when he decided to put faith in himself instead of God. But even then, when he had this huge problem of being captured by the Philistines, when he humbled himself and called out to God, God solved his predicament, his problem. And so I want to sing for you and sing with you this song called, There is no problem too big, God cannot solve it. There is no problem too big, God cannot solve it. There is no mountain too tall, God cannot move it. There is no storm too dark, God cannot calm it. There is no sorrow too deep, God cannot soothe it. 
If he carry the weight of the world upon his shoulders, I know my brother that he will carry you. If he carry the weight of the world upon his shoulders, I know my sister that he will carry you. There is no problem to be, God cannot solve it. There is no mountain too tall, God cannot move it. There is no storm too dark, God cannot calm it. There is no sorrow too deep, God cannot soothe it. If He carry the weight of the world upon His shoulders, I know my brother that He will carry you. Upon his shoulders, I know my sister that he will carry you. He will carry you. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, amen. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, amen. If you're happy and you know, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Amen! All right, see you next time, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us. You can support children's ministry by giving online at adventistgiving.org or by mailing a donation to Glendale City Church, 610 East California Avenue, Glendale, California, 91206. Thanks! O oh Lord, please remember me and strengthen me. Judges 16, 28.